Hey, this is interesting. When St. Patrick supposedly rid Ireland of snakes, he had not only removed the source of medicine used to treat blood clots, diabetes, and more. While at the time he may have made the Irish people and later Indiana Jones happy, today the Guild of Learning that snakes are not all bad is the primary reason for heavy drinking in viperless Ireland. Fortunately, other parts of the world still have snakes, some of which have venoms that contain proteins and peptides used to make medicines commonly used today. For example, when the venom of the Jararaca snake was found to cause dangerously low blood pressure, it led to the discovery of peptides in the venom that are now used to make anti-blood pressure medicine. Then there's the pygmy rattlesnake's venom that destroys red blood cells and prevents clotting. But a protein isolated in the venom is used by doctors to break down blood clots and prevent heart attacks. Another similar anti-platelet medication comes from the venom of the Soskel viper, which contributes to a large number of snake bites and deaths in India. But snakes aren't the only source of venoms with medicinal compounds. The venom in Gila monsters contains a toxin used in drugs to treat diabetes, while cone snail venom contains a peptide used to treat chronic pain syndromes. The number of new compounds found in venoms is constantly growing, some of which are in preclinical and clinical trials that show potential to fight against cancer, heart failure, and even treat COVID. Even just the properties of some venom compounds has led to medicines used to treat diabetes, inflammation, and much more. Now, I should emphasize that it's the compounds in the venom, not the venom itself that's medicinal. So please, don't self-medicate with snake bites, or pints of Guinness for that matter. As always, masters come from peer-reviewed research.